Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're following on from the last video, which was about the Mars campaign, and we're gonna be talking about the Interplanetary War. And for those of you who might be new to my channel and are watching this video for the first time, this is part of a series where I talk about Halo lore, which is set hundreds of years before any Halo game. However, before we get into the meat and potatoes of the pie, I'd like to thank you guys massively for 5,000 subscribers. That is a number that is just insurmountable and it's just something that I never thought I'd reach. And the fact that I hit 5,000 subscribers like a couple of days ago and we're already well past 5,300 is insane. It's shown me that you guys are enjoying my content and I mean, hell, I'm obviously doing something right. So thanks a lot for watching guys. So let's get into what you guys really came here for, the Interplanetary Wars. The Interplanetary War served as the culmination of the Rainforest Wars, the Jovian Moons Campaign, and the Mars Campaign. All attempts by left and right wing rebels to enact their political ideologies over humanity and their colonies, all of which were quickly stamped down by the UN and later on by the newly formed UNSC. Following on from the decisive UN victory in the Mars Campaign, in 2164, the Interplanetary War began. The UNSC began a systematic drive to annihilate any remnants of Freedon and Kozlovic forces throughout the entire solar system, which took them around six years and ended in 2170 with the signing of the Callisto Treaty. Named after the Jovian moon Callisto, the signing of the Callisto Treaty caused Kozlovic and Freedon commanders to formally surrender to the UNSC, marking the official ending of the Interplanetary War. This war has particular links to the era of Halo that we all know and love, as it was the first military application of bio-augmentation protocols. They were already used outside the military to adapt humans to the conditions of space and different colonial habitats. These augmentations would serve as an early precursor to the ones used in the Orion Project and the Spartan programs that followed. This war also saw the first use of spacecraft-borne nuclear weapons. In the aftermath of the Interplanetary War, the UEG, also known as the United Earth Government, was constituted as humanity's governing body by the UN. The UNSC were also forced to deal with a less obvious, however very serious threat, overpopulation along with a massive military that had nobody to fight. Due to the lack of conflict, post-war birth rates soared, which, coupled with the famine caused by the Rainforest Wars, had the ability to destabilise the interplanetary economy. Over a century later, in 2291, slip space travel was discovered, and 71 years after that, in 2362, the first inner colonies were formed. This interstellar colonisation would enter humanity into a new golden age, with a massive population stabilised across many off-world systems, and goods being transported to Earth from all of the colonies. So that's all for today guys, thanks a lot for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Next video, we'll be taking a look at the return of the Brutes. I've got some great theories that I think you guys are going to really enjoy listening to, and that should be up in the next couple days. So thanks again for watching, if you're new here, please subscribe, helps me out loads. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, drop me a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.